Silence Udur, Verdandi, Skald, be at ease. Your day of rest has come. At peace. At last, we rest. Is that it? Is it done? Layla, hello. You know me? Yes, through the calculations I read here in the gray. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15 trillion, 55 million, 3,276 to one. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these... possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these. Searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world. From which point all possible futures Disney's expand. Disney's voice. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, no. another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. It, it just kind of pushed up a bit, didn't it? This node. This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. <laughs> the only Fuck thing I know Desmond. for certain. That seems limited. Oh. How do you mean? What if you went back further to 2012 when Desmond saved the world? Desmond. What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time. Time travel I, alternate reality. The machine is powered down. They already mentioned the it in three. It will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the staff of Yeah, hidden. but you ain't holding it. Protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck. Alright. We'll find a solution together. However long it takes. And if that means I can never leave, so be it. I owe this to the people I, I hurt. And the people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place. Oh no.
Loki slash Basson's gonna have that. Oh! Oh, I have no fucking idea because I didn't see his body there initially. Whoops. Hanging tightly, left like you can't punch my choice. Are you with me? I'm with you. Alethia. It worked perfectly, my dear. Is the mad one here? No, my love. Only we remain. And Layla. Why are we stroking that stuff? The air of memories fulfilled her role perfectly. This is so. Now then, a new world awaits. Sean, Bex, I, I had a choice, and I chose to stay. You'll wonder where I am. You might wonder if I am. I don't know how to answer that, but I'm not afraid, and I'm not alone. We have work to do, work that may take us days or years. It's impossible to say, but we'll finish it. What I mean is, don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and and too late. Take care of yourself. Take care of the world we still have. And take care of. You see, she's fine, in a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking. Jesus, we have to find her. You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this <laughs> long. No fucking shirt he's got you. on. You left her there. This, this is all a bit much. I know, I'm in the same situation. No, no, you're in a class all your own, man. Oh, he's got a man bun. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishim. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You, 
bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use. To find my children. And bring my family oh, my back together. Oh, my fucking God. A quiet place to find an end. I almost envy you. What do you want me to focus on? Hello, little fella. Why am I focusing on a squirrel? This is this is mm -hmm. <laughs> Stephanie click as a squirrel. <laughs> I love this. It's going to be a cute little squirrel, though. <sighs> Is it wishful thinking to believe this device has a thought interface? Do I really have to use my hands and voice? Crystal device. I don't know how to answer that, but I'm not afraid, and I'm not alone. We have work to do. Work well, that may take us days or years. It's impossible to say. Oh, I, I, but we'll I finish mm. it. What I mean is, don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and and too late. Take care of yourselves. Take care of the world we still have. Hey, <laughs> Zeno, stranger. Where are you? Oh no, Layla, it's been months. I'm worried sick. We all are. Like a fucking idiot. I'm covering for you again. Baba asks why we haven't heard from you since winter. I told him you were on our research trip. It's time in the Amazon. Fucking Amazon. Even my own lies sound flimsy when I type them out. <laughs> right called to something for fuck's sake. Uh, did you- Oh, you, you've also seen you like how they made a tree of life with a probability tree. I'm- I'm sitting on the, the fence as to whether I love it here or I hate it here. Can we enter with him? The bleeding effect shouldn't take long to kick in. 
a few days at most. Something happened this time around, I haven't really figured so out. So here we go. Uh, oh, I think the garden's erection. I don't, I honestly, I don't have a fucking clue anymore. So we've got him who's going to try and he's on our he's on our Aita. I love how they're just basically rehashing the same story. In a different way. From three. I know what will happen, we'll get what? Four four games down the line? No, three. What was that? Black Flag, Rogue, Unity. And they get. Was that it? Was it four? Yeah, four games down the line? And they'll finish it in a fucking comic again. Actually, that's true because once again he wants to break out his lover from the computer. Oh, yeah, the whole thing was three was I'm sure Minerva or Juno were speaking to Desmond at the time and they were like, Yeah, if you save the world, you're going to set her free. And that was the, the sacrifice as well. So she ended up in the obstetric of computers and he had, was it John Standish? No. The computer did an obstetrical and black flag who was trying to break her out because he was the Aita sage, whatever the fuck you want to call him. Um, and then it wasn't until the comics, I don't think, or the comic after Syndicate that they kind of realised that whole, oh hey, she's out. Like, properly out. Well, here's the thing. I don't know how relevant the staff is because we don't, well I don't know what happened in the DLC for Odyssey, which it was probably to do with the Atlantis stuff. Steady, and we know Layla had something weird happen because she, she got taken over by the artifact like Desmond had with, was it Lucy? They've basically just, you know, done the first couple of games worth over again in DLC in the next game. <laughs> Instead of rebooting it, they just kind of like repeated the timeline. Eivor, you've returned! Is Sigurd with you? No, not for now, Toby. <clears throat> I mean, I did always say that the series is going to end in modern day them going after each other, but this is throwing a spanner in those works. A really elaborate remaster. Maybe they kind of origins didn't really have much. You just seen William at the end picking up Layla. That was it, and whatever shape that she heard in the, the tombs that um, Bayek couldn't hear. He wasn't one of the chosen ones who could hear like Ezio.
If it was Kingdom Hearts, it would have been have retold as a subtitle. I mean, Kingdom Hearts actually moves on. Eivor, is that you? It is. This is the rehash the you? first. He stayed what? behind to begin anew. This is three years old. With the spin on the Stand end. Up. What? Stand. This seat is yours. It suits you. Eivor's returned! Inside of the hearth, come! Your secret is no longer safe. Eivor? Ranvi? What is this? Is everything all right? Our Jarl's Kuna has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future. Will you speak to your people? For love and joy words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... No. No. You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings On ocean steep my words gain wings Oh, in speed I form will bring For noble deeds thine honor sing We reach the place our trail of rest Fight for we who fall. Uh, we get to keep Bass and Loki Isugai, and we could make something interesting out of it. Write a little redemption arc for him. I don't know. So. You had the Asgard had the Jotunheim, so Alethia or Alf what's that? It is Alethia, isn't it? She's the one who was the Jotnar then. Why, why did I not just click this just now? I can't remember. Okay, so. Um, so we're basically doing Romeo and Juliet at this, at this point, aren't we? The Jotnar and the Aesir. Anger Boda. And. Um, I'm gonna say Alethia's on the side with Minerva and all that. Just, I don't, just, yeah. I can't remember at any point in the previous games did they mention having war. Uh, do, 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 do. I made some changes. Well, you chose Sigurd would have given you its seat, and he wouldn't be mad at you. Oh, is that um 
Okay, so the, the thing when it comes to the changes, was that the... I'm guessing two sections, maybe. I don't know, when we had all the little images come up when Odin was taking us through, and he was saying, like, you, you, you know, decided who was going to be king and took it away, kind of thing. Which, I mean, can't really... Well, no, you could have maybe not done the pledges and fought the final... and fought the battle for Fulke. And you... It, that wouldn't be relevant. Huh. Um, and yeah, some of the decisions that Sigurd mentioned. Right, um... Oh jeez. <laughs> it's Jackal. Yeah, okay. Cool. Just place the jack-o'-lantern in the room. Yeah, I can't remember. Um, What was it? Where was it? Where was it? I mentioned something. How do I... Pressed X. Yeah. You saw what war you mean. I had various different groups, different ideas, how to approach the world and behind the doom situation. I couldn't remember. God, I must have forgotten so much. Because they didn't really. Oh my god, this is weird. Hi. Tag is so scummy. You hate them so much. I think he was he was just really, you know, a cigarette right hand man. And didn't like how close. Sigurd and Eivor War for not actually being blood. Or at least, like, you know, here, blood related in a way. Coming from a different appearance. The reason I'm going out is the only way I can read something. This one? Uh, Ireland, da da do. Long ago it was a great and tragic war, the offspring of gods who lived before the deluge. Pray for those rebel angels who came before. They've got Aita, Juno, Minerva. And that'll be when they spoke of Ragnarok, I'm guessing when they ran out, they were also fighting against Minerva and that. My loyalty to him tears me in one direction, and the Nephilim point elsewhere. Heard him spoke to me again. Oh, which one was it? Mm -mm. 
Mm. He pains and he feels for instance. Yeah, okay. Is one angel still trapped? She who must be released or joined. So I don't know what they're talking about. Hey, it, it could be Juno. It could be... Um, well, no, they kind of had reference to that in... When you were in Vinland, when you went after... Uh, Kyofi's son. Juno too! <laughs> or it could be Al Alethia. Who fucking knows? Okay, today my lord instructed me in plain words to travel over this, the ocean and seek the door behind which hides this fallen angel. I shall try in his name. It could be fucking either of them. Right, the time. Oh, it's nearly midnight. I kind of. Uh, what else in you one you'd imagine? Mm. You know, it's really strange. Right, so. You got all this, this, you know. The world's gone to shit again kind of situation. You've got the Isu and all their, their whatever, the baggage they're carrying. But all they seem to do is be like, like lovers that are having issues getting to one another and they're fucking everyone over in the process because of it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> it's a bit weird. It's like some weird Romeo and Juliet where Instead of Romeo and Juliet biting the dust, it's the whole world burns around them. Or goes to shit. <laughs> 